We continually put up more and more stuff into space and the big problem is that debris can generate more debris. The velocities that are so high, even a fleck of paint can be like a rifle bullet. The Aerospace Corporation has spent decades helping to assure that U.S. satellites get to space efficiently and reliably. It's time for us to start bringing them down efficiently and reliably. We've found a way to combine the function of a spin motor, which would spin a satellite up, and a thrusting motor, which would provide the deorbit impulse. We've combined those two functions into one motor that is something that's easily operated. The satellite user only needs to be able to provide an ignition pulse at the right time to start this motor, that would spin it up, and then deorbit. The challenge became in testing. So we had to develop a test campaign that we flew out in the desert and put our motor in something that simulated a 3U CubeSat and put that on top of a booster. The booster would fly this thing up and would actually impart a spin as it went up. That gives us what kind of spin we could expect from a 3U CubeSat that's on orbit. So what we were doing was essentially an on-orbit or zero-g test of this technology. When you push ignite, the booster flies up to a couple hundred feet. There are spin tabs on the booster that are controlled by servos. They give us an initial spin rate. The payload will drag separate from the booster and the spin motor initially spins up the payload, burns through, and then the thrust is axial at that point. Our deorbit motor concept applies what we're calling a fugacious thrust deflector. That is a thrust deflector that will create a torque for a short period of time, but then will disappear. Once it disappears, the motor acts like a regular motor producing thrust like it normally would. That torque that we get in the beginning helps the entire satellite spin up for spin stabilization so that when we apply that force, the satellite will go where it needs to go. It's almost like when you go camping or something, you know, you want to pack it in, pack it out. So if you put it there, you're responsible for getting it out of there.